Despite suffering hundreds of thousands of casualties since the launch of the full-scale invasion, a new report has said Russia's army in Ukraine is more than double the size of the force that invaded almost two years ago. What's more, even though hundreds of Russian soldiers are being taken out of the fight every single day, the Kremlin could be able to sustain its armies for the long term, despite the losses. But one factor will be crucial. The Kremlin will need to be able to convince new recruits that the situation on the front lines is far better than it actually is. Just maybe not too good. I'm Anya Korzen, a journalist at Kyiv Post. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates, exclusive interviews and more explainers. So, the new report from Alexander Kavalenko director of Information Resistance Military Information Platform, says that Moscow's troop strength inside Ukraine currently exceeds 400,000 soldiers. He also said that even sustained casualties of 800 to 1,000 men a day in periods of the most intense fighting are unlikely to erode that figure significantly. Kavalenka said that around 20 to 25,000 men a month are being delivered to Russian army training centers, while losses average between 15 to 20,000 men a month. So, despite losing so many soldiers, how does the Kremlin continue to attract men? As well as offering high salaries to residents of poor regions with high unemployment, Kremlin military planners have succeeded in finding enough replacements by publicizing a narrative of continued Russian military success in Ukraine. Inside Russia, it seems to be working. According to a new survey from the independent research group Russian Field, 56% of respondents believe that the war is going well for Russia, whereas only 25% believe that the war is going poorly for Russia. But this strategy could soon backfire for the Kremlin. According to the latest report from the Institute of the Study of War, Russian mill bloggers on Telegram continued to criticize actors in the Russian information space for distorting the reality of the Russian war effort. And curiously, respondents in the Russian field survey who trust Telegram channels are twice as likely to believe that the war is going poorly for Russia as those who rely on Russian state television. For example, the popular Russian Telegram military blogger Dva Mayora, in a recent article titled False Stability, said this information tactic will lead to fewer men willing to fight. With calming reports, respected speakers actually relax and demobilize society. Now answer me, if a person watched your news reports, why should he go and sign a contract with the Ministry of Defense? The Kremlin also faces another problem. Everything is far from fine at the front and they can't control all the information Russians are exposed to. First-hand accounts by prisoners of war finding themselves in poor quality uniform in a war far more dangerous and unsuccessful than the recruiter back in Russia told them it would be, are widely documented and distributed. Another male blogger complained that the over-optimistic claims are forcing Russian servicemen to catch up to these Russian politicians and commanders' unrealistic expectations of Russian battlefield success. So. What does it all mean for Russia's future recruitment efforts? It means the Kremlin faces a mounting challenge to keep the reality of the front lines for Russian soldiers away from the Russian public. Russian forces face huge shortages of combat vehicle numbers, particularly tanks and infantry fighting vehicles, and troop quality and morale will continue to deteriorate. Future Russian combat units will become less well equipped and less skilled, and will likely continue to suffer heavy casualties. And unless the Kremlin can find a way to keep this information from the public, it is unlikely to solve the problem of how to attract more men to fight in Ukraine. The ISW concluded, the Russian information space may grow increasingly volatile as the rift between the Kremlin optimists and their critics expands. And we'll keep you updated on more developments. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.